yes, you now see my screen and you should hear the sound. So like you have to tell me if you're actually hearing it. I actually don't hear it. Hear it. Uh, can someone say if you hear something? Here, here. Yeah, Vlad, Vlad, can you hear something? Yep, I do. Ah, okay, cool. Uh, you don't show your face, but okay. Uh, then anyone else uh, who's showing their face, uh, who, is, uh, who wants to make their body move, so we're gonna move it for one minute. I'm sorry, I'm disturbing all the sitting routine for everyone <laughs> for so long. So just, uh, just join me this activity. So like, I don't see anyone moving, but okay, I'm gonna move. <laughs> me, just one person. Yeah, Vlad is moving with me. <laughs> I don't know if it's visible. <laughs> Woo! 10 seconds more and, oh my God, they are sitting. Oh! I lost it. <laughs> we should sit, Vlad. Okay. I guess it was enough for uh, exercise yeah. <laughs> for, for the beginning. Uh, I see that uh, everyone uh, was scared by this and uh, left the room. I don't know how no, oh, to come back actually to my screen. So then we're gonna continue with the serendipity creation and it means that uh, each of us, it's actually great that we are just four people of us and, uh, oh, sorry. And we're gonna say just, few words about ourselves so three words who you think you are in adjective and then one word who you think you're not so i will start and then like you will pick up so it's, it's pretty easy so i would say about myself i am curious creative and caring and i'm not patient so this is this is my my beginning of the introduction uh what about you vlad Okay, I am think that I am patient and maybe active and I'm kind of geek. It's kind of... Yeah, so three. Yeah. Patient, active and geek. And, uh, and who are you not? Uh, I'm not so calm. Ah, you're not calm. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah, that, that, that's a good thing to be. I don't know who is Guillaume Sicard. Uh, Guillaume, Guillaume, can you... Uh, can you uh, join us and say three words about yourself? Uh, uh, I'm not sure this person is even here. Perfect. We are now two people, and this yeah, it is probably like, yeah, just too fast. <laughs> no, the funny thing is, like, uh, it probably I now found the key how to scare everyone in the in the in the speaking room and how everyone run away. If, if actually <laughs> you start doing exercises. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was perfect. Just because of COVID. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, no, I'm not joining exercise. Okay, Victor Kukos. Uh, Victor, are you here? Because we're engaging here, so it's a participatory session. Uh, Victor, also in a silent. Okay, I don't... don't understand people uh oh, okay everyone left everyone left yes we <laughs> we just <laughs> just lot and me left yeah. here <laughs> okay fantastic then we're gonna have uh amazing conversation just me and you yeah uh, this guy is the end screen is recording right <laughs> yeah and screen is recording like i mean fantastic like we we make and hear experiments you know <laughs> I, I i make their scared everyone uh, around here so uh, let right. them talk. Uh, let them talk a bit, and I will ask you just uh, just one question. Then oh, wait, I will sit down. Um, uh, you, you're you're from Russia, right? Uh, from or, Ukraine, um, right? Ah, me too. Where? Yeah, I see. <laughs> oh, so like we're, we're you know roots are connected. Just from Kharkiv, right? Yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah, from Kharkiv. Yeah. 
I'm 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 from the okay. west of Ukraine. I'm from the west. What part of the west? Uh, I'm from uh, uh, middle of nowhere. The city <laughs> is, is Lutsk. It's like close to. I I is... know the west Lutsk. Okay. Oh my God! Seriously, like no one knows right. the city. <laughs> No one knows the city. And now I will ask you like um, actually a bit difficult question. Probably I should have started with this question because people freak out of, of moving their ass. Um, and the question is, uh, so I was once pondering around like what is the most powerful question to ask uh, people, like if I would mm -hmm. have a chance, right? And uh, my question is uh, just imagine tomorrow you waking up and since tomorrow, you can ask just one question, anyone in the world. So like, whatever you people gonna meet, you can ask just one question. So for the rest of your life, you're not allowed to ask like many questions, but just one. And then I will give you like one minute to think about what would be this one question you, you can ask, you would love to ask. You can think about it because it's actually yeah, not yeah, that easy. Mm -hmm. This is an interesting uh, topic because it's it's more about that you have you you didn't you didn't have many words and you just need just one ask one something something yeah. different, right? Yeah, yeah. You have time to think. Oh, and then and then while you have time to think, I will ask. Uh, our room join. Uh, I don't see the name. Erika Singla, I guess. Uh, hello, you're joining our room. A uh, beautiful woman. Uh, I don't see. I don't know what is wrong with my. Uh, your screen sharing paused. Yeah, but how can I make it? Okay, whatever. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm so. Yeah, uh, Arika Singla, are you here? Like. Uh, or you are not here <laughs> because we're here for you're here hi marina i'm here yeah oh, okay fantastic so he, there here is a session let's create serendipity and we we like done some few things which move our ass a bit in the beginning <laughs> so you missed that uh but uh we're now doing another another section of this uh, connect connect connection between all of us in the room and uh, the question i ask uh, just Vlad, uh and i, I am uh, i want you to ponder around uh, so imagine tomorrow you waking up and uh, since tomorrow you can ask just one question to anyone you meet in the world so for the rest of your life, you can ask just one question and what this one question would be for you. Oh, that's very difficult, I mean. Yeah, I know, I give you times to think, guys. <laughs> like, uh, you can have a bit of time to think because it's a pretty difficult question, but I mean, it, it shouldn't be right, like, for sure question, but, uh, uh -huh. uh, but, but you can, uh, you can. Oh, I see more people. Hello, people. Hi, guys. Uh, yeah, I see Asif and Mohit. Um, so again, I, I will just remind because I don't know, uh, probably because the rooms was, uh, was moved from serendipity. It's supposed to be in a fifth room and now it's in a sixth. So I'm mm -hmm. sorry if you, if you missed some part. Um, and I was asking already Erika and Vlad uh, that question. So imagine, guys, tomorrow you're waking up and for the rest of your life, you can ask just one question to any human being. What would be this question? It's a pretty difficult question because, right, like, you have to think about what you really want to know about human. Uh, I think and I know. Great, okay. Uh, guys, you, you can think, okay, Vlad will tell, will, will answer his question. Vlad, so what is your question? Marina, what's your truly desire? Hmm. <laughs> then we're gonna ask each other. Okay, uh, my my truly desire is uh, to build a reality where where every human being has a chance to realize their potential for the sake of humanity. Something like that. Yes, it's great. I like. It. Yeah. So it's meaning kind of like to have to build a world where everyone has a chance 
to create something and realize their potential and all of this for the common good so that the humanity moving like forward and towards more utopian environment instead of like dystopian one and it would be wonderful if for uh, people around the world having these chances and not just in developed countries but in developing country like even we are from like ukraine where tons of poor people yeah, yeah anyone else or come up with some uh, questions for f- to ask people It could be something like even simple. Obviously, it's it's not much time like to think about. One of my friends, uh, he took like a week to think about this question, <laughs> what he would ask. <laughs> so, but uh, and uh, actually, I could uh, I could then meanwhile you thinking about I could read you a few um, uh, I could read you a few answers I got because I was asking this few people in my life, uh, and I can. I cannot. Uh, uh-huh. So one person tell explain me the journey of finding your inner self. Pretty cool. Uh, would you laugh with me? Also fun. <laughs> <laughs> then can I cuddle you? Also like very very caring. Um, what have you done this week? What can you do to make? Oh no! What can I do to make you happy? Actually. Yeah, that that's that what I. Great. Yeah, that's what I would. Uh, that's what I would ask. Uh, that's a beautiful question. Um, have you called your parents today? Um, what would you do today that would give the most pleasure? Then, what would you create out of yourself? What do you love or passionate about? Actually, that's what uh, also Vlad basically asks. Also, like, yeah. what do you desire the most? And uh, while you're still pondering around the question, uh, we also um, can uh, uh, say three words about ourselves because we with Vlad already have done it. Uh, so Arika, you can say, and Mohit and Asif uh, can say three words about yourself. Um, so I, I told in the beginning that I am um, curious, creative, and caring. And who I am not, I'm not a patient person. Patient, yeah patient <laughs> and you can say three words about yourself guys just to know you more here in the room you know uh, we are from uh, india i'm from india bangalore and uh, from the indian economic trade organization it's an arm that promotes uh, trade and commerce and uh, our um, idea now is to explore all the things that we have been missing in the world uh, you know that have suddenly come out during covid we have realized that there are so many things that we have not been able to address. And I think uncertainty is what we are seeing now and uncertainty would lead to a lot of creativity. That is what we are looking at it now. Because for anybody to be creative, there needs to be a lot of uncertainty. And during this uncertain period, we are seeing a lot of creativity and I think we will see much more of this, which can give some uh, mechanisms and you know end results for a lot of solutions to the world. Yeah, it's 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 very beautiful beautiful say. Uh, uh, totally agree with you. That then certainly bring more creativity. Uh, yeah. But 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 just on that note, uh, because we here in this room, we we trying uh, we trying to connect with each other on a human level, right? And then spread our creativity. So can you say just few words about like who are you like as a human? Are you maybe you creative and maybe you. Um, active or or dreamer or rational person i don't know like can you say a few words especially well, just I'm, related I'm to you i'm a i consider myself as a designer of ideas ah okay then you create it <laughs> designer <laughs> of ideas beautiful yes. yeah, that yeah. that's beautiful uh, and uh, and you are rika do you want to say a few words about yourself yeah i mean i would love to so um I'm very amicable and bold, I would say. I love to socialize um, and I was studying in UK and then I made so many international friends. And then, um, yeah, I, I'm very ambitious, I guess. I love uh, working. I'm a workaholic. And uh, three things which I reckon 
uh, not good about me. I'm actually not at all patient. Patience <laughs> is not really <laughs> my me. at all. Yes. And and sometimes punctuality, I would say, like uh, it's so hard to be on time, especially uh, early mornings. If you have meetings or classes, uh, especially at nine a.m., ooh, it's very hard. <laughs> These two things, I would say. yeah. That that's beautiful. And and where are you from, or where are you now on the planet? Okay, so I live in UK, but I came back to India to visit my family. So right now I'm here in India. I couldn't go back. Ah, yeah, yeah, for for COVID. So you wait and now till COVID is over and come back to to your studies in, in UK. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God! Yeah, I can imagine how you how you miss your university mates and and all no, the fun. Yes, yes. He's lying know, in we, home. I'm sure. <laughs> yes, yes. We 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 all miss uh, we all missing that uh, specifically connection connection with. Where are you based now, Marina? Where are you? I'm in Ukraine at my parents, so uh -huh. I also stuck Thank here. You. Uh, uh -huh. Like accid accidentally, I came here to do the UK visa and then boom, like COVID happened and I have to stuck here for a while. So I also right. can't wait when, when the borders are open and uh -huh. we finally uh -huh. can be free again. <laughs> right. free, free, yeah. free, free human beings. That is interesting, guys. Uh, like, can you, can you say now a few words about your, like, how do you connect with people or in a social life? Like, Like, what do you like to, uh, to do, like, with people when you meet them? Are you like to ask questions? Or how do you create, basically, serendipity in your life? And what is, what is serendipity for you, basically? Because maybe it's different for me. Um, okay, if I start, uh, serendipity, I've always loved this word. I fell in love with this word uh, from the movie Serendipity, if anybody has watched it. No, oh my God, I have to watch it. Thank you so much to, to say that. It's, it's a beautiful movie. It's a classic to watch it, Serendipity. And uh, from Fantastic. there, I discovered that, okay, Serendipity is a fortunate accident. And uh, yeah, so if I connect with someone, it's just, it comes naturally. I mean, if vibes match, you just go forward with it. So it just doesn't depend on like what color or caste or creed. It just happens, you know with any one, yeah. uh, any culture, any background. That's what I experienced in UK. So yeah, for me, serendipity is like a fortunate accident, something uh, at first you'll feel, okay, uh, why did this happen? But then at the end you realize, okay, uh, it's good that it happened, so. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's beautiful. And I mean, uh, obviously, uh, we, as I, as I, in the beginning, I, I started my conversation here that uh, I was just missing serendipity so much because it's very hard to create serendipity now when you're in lockdown. So that's why I was thinking it would be beautiful just to connect like serendipity in the Zoom room uh, with people because uh, uh, human connection is very beautiful thing for everyone, right? When we can connect and explore each other and then you get to know yourself better. <laughs> And then you get to know the world better uh, and people uh, yourself. And uh, unfortunately, now in this lockdown, uh, we, we can have the serendipity moments. And I was just pondering around, uh, is it even possible to create serendipity moments in online world? And uh, probably like this kind of, but still it's, um, it's very hard to create serendipity from like nowhere right? Because you, you don't do any actions. You don't go on the street and see someone like accidentally and then start, start to talking uh, accidentally. So that's, mm -hmm. that, 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 that's pretty difficult, but uh, it's still amazing that, that now we all have opportunity where we can still discuss something online and by communities like unit community, we, we can all share something. And uh, I see there is some uh, more people joining, but Moose, Uh, Badmus, are you here? Because we're here all participating in, uh, in this session. We, we're not speaking like about something specific or, I mean, we're speaking kind of <laughs> specific. Hi, I'm, how are you? Yeah, hey, great. Nice to meet you. We, we all a bit sharing uh, like three words about ourselves and like three words about who, who are you. Adject it can be adjectives. And maybe one word, who are you not? Can you, can you start from that? Okay. Uh, 
I'm just a gentle guy and uh, 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 I'm gentle and hardworking and religious. Uh, okay. Uh, where, are you uh, from, uh, where are you from? Where are you from, Badmus? I'm from Nigeria. All right. How is situation in in Nigeria regarding COVID? Are you are you safe, guys? I think uh, there is not, not much bad situation. Or what do you think? Well, the situations is being curtailed. Uh, we had a uh, lockdown. The first phase of our lockdown spans for two weeks, and uh, it was a full lockdown. So. Then after a while, they gave another a week uh, relax of the lockdown. So ah yeah, so you have a short lockdown actually because we've been locked down for two months. Yes. So that that's how we have it here. So people Good. can go about from Monday to Thursday. Then Friday and Sundays are not allowed for the uh, religious people to have gatherings. So. But the lockdown is still uh, very like from morning till six. There is always uh, free movement. People were on curfew after six six p.m. So that's how it is here. Okay, thank you. Thank you for short introduction. What's going on in Nigeria regarding COVID? Uh, we want to move probably to Mohit uh, Sirvastava. Yeah. Yeah, hey Mohit, how are you? I'm here. Uh, right now I'm in New Delhi, the capital city. And uh, if you talk about three words, uh, I think uh, I'm a bit workaholic, I like working. I am a bit lazy as well. And, and I'm ambitious. So I want to achieve something good. And that too in my way. So something like that. Basically, uh, I enjoy meeting with people. Every day I have to meet like a lot of people. That makes me enjoy my life, and that's why uh, you know I like meeting people. I like uh, you know do not. I'm not a party type people, but I uh, do not like uh, to go out with them like uh, for parties or for other things. But yes, to have chat, to ask questions, to uh, answer them about me, something like that. Yeah, fantastic. And how you how you do it now when the COVID and we all in lockdown. Well, now what I'm trying is to connect with them on social media platforms. So better is to connect with chat, maybe like this, maybe uh, on Zoom or some video chat, something like that. And then what is your favorite question to ask people when you first time met them? What is your dream location? But I uh, don't what talk is, what is your passion? What is your dream location? Maybe maybe beach, maybe mountains. Ah, nice. <laughs> nice, nice. And what is what is your dream location? Mountains, any any kind of mountain location where Fan you can find nature. Fantastic. Yeah, I also love mountains. Irika, what is what is your dream location? Oh, you are now in the mood. We can hear you. Um, I'm a beach person. I love beaches. You love beaches, yeah. I, I love beaches too. I, I maybe love too much everything. I, lo I love or uh, I love as a beach and I love mountains. So it's mm -hmm. uh, it's probably a hard 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 life, right? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, I see Gina you, but I'm not sure Gina if you are happy actually to see you here. Uh, I'm not sure if you engage in now or briefly, but uh, I'm uh, engaged with my daughter here. Uh, <laughs> Hey, Fantastic. Hey, dear. Yeah. Hey, dear. Hey, dear. Where are you now? Are you in Zurich or where are no, you? No, no. I'm I stuck in Ukraine because I came to do the UK visa and then oh. lockdown happened. <laughs> Wonderful. Last time well, I saw Marina, we were in Zurich together. Yeah, we were in Davos together. So it's a it's a big family of uh, unit global and we're like all together. Ha happy to see you, Gino. Can you say... Yeah. Can, can you say at least one thing? What is your favorite question to ask people when you meet them? Uh, what are you willing to die for? Yay! 
Hey, fantastic question, fantastic question. And th then, but now you have to answer your question. So what are you willing to die for? The main work I do is how do we use media, interactive media, biofeedback, and intersubjective experiences to facilitate personal transformation and induce awakening? How do you engineer enlightenment? The premise yeah. is you can get everyone on the planet to reconnect to and to live from the innate joy of being rather than the fears, needs, and desires driven by stories. And if you can do that on a global scale, a world peace. Yes, it would be another so world. I teach world. university in Hong Kong. I do research in consciousness. And then, um, uh, yeah, and I do stuff like, uh, we have a joint lab at uh, IIT Delhi, um, and um, we do things all around the world. This is fantastic. But I yeah, had yeah, one. Around. My yeah, really yeah, Ron was a daughter. Her. Yeah, was happy to hear you here. Bye bye. All see right. you. I'll see you. See ya. Yeah, hi guys. So now you have to say what are you gonna die? What are you willing to die for? Uh, let's start from Arika. What are you willing to die for? Oh, what I'm willing to die for uh, to get a uh, world to get back normal. I mean, <laughs> yes. I yes, yes. I mean, yes, yes, dear. Stuff, uh, I'll die for that. Everything is. I agree with you. Yeah, I can't get used to this new normal. Yes, no, we're gonna have a better normal. It's not new normal as they want us to see. It's gonna be much better normal. We're all gonna make this happen, guys. It's like we're not gonna settle for this forever. We're not gonna listen to them. Uh, and and you, Mohit? Uh, what I want to die for? Uh, maybe touching the sun. Oh, interesting. <laughs> what, what, made you, what made you to say that? Touching I the sun. Love sun. I don't know. Maybe. But, maybe you, maybe. but you know that you're going to actually literally die if you touch yeah. the sun. <laughs> That's what the question says. It's a good question. Yeah. It, it's interesting. So you, let's imagine that Elon Musk created the space six which able to to fly to the sun would you fly to the sun yes could be <laughs> <laughs> yeah we we all can change our minds and you are see what would you die for well um i wouldn't say that i would die for anything i would like to live <laughs> because, uh, you know, we all would love to live <laughs> The, then, then with the, the know, question, wanting to, for, wanting to die for something is only a metaphor, because you know, yes, it's you, metaphor. There is absolutely no expression there, so you know it's very easy to say that I would die for. I mean, when I am hungry, I would die to eat some good food. And right. I, I would, I would, you know, it's very relative. I would, die, I would die to drink water when I am thirsty. Exactly. And once, once that feeling is over, so I think there is death, and uh, till you have survival, life and death in every moment of your life. So every moment that you want to survive and you want something badly, you are dying for it. Exactly. So then we, you know, we probably we can guys rephrase this question, what are you willing to live for? So then it's like, what, what are you willing to live your life for? And that is actually can be, can be rephrased and basically the same kind of question around like, what are you passionate about maybe? And mm. what are you willing to, to live for, for that? I'm not sure if for the next session happen here now. I mean, like it ha kind of has to happen now and I'm not sure mm -hmm. who is. Uh, it's uh, me and I'm here. I'm ready to go. Hey, yo, How's Mark. Going, uh, fantastic. Uh, happy to give you a mic <laughs> for the next session and, uh, and enjoy, uh, enjoy this uh, uh, day, beautiful day. Thank you guys, everyone who was here and sharing uh, some things about themselves and hope uh, all this gonna finish soon and we all gonna immerse in serendipity moments in our life which which makes us this, this life amazing thank you so much guys thank, thank you bye thank bye you. bye guys bye bye guys